Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you a kind of tour of my fridge and freezer and my cupboards and show you exactly what I have left and then kind of show you how I'm going to meal plan to use those bits and bobs up because it's very easy to just every week go online or go to the supermarket or whatever and buy what you always buy for 50, 60, 70 pounds, whatever your budget is and not kind of use up what you've got or mix it up a bit and try and save a bit of money. So I have an awful lot of stuff in my fridge and freezer and sometimes it's just, you know, like we might have two bits of salmon not enough for all four of us or a couple of bits of breaded fish or you know whatever but I'm going to try and stretch it and either bulk it out with veg or maybe like my husband and I could have salmon and the boys could have like breaded fish and just kind of use up what we've got. I'm not going to be doing a big shop this week I'm going to be doing a small top-up shop and that is mainly just going to be fruit and veg and then some bread and some milk as we need it. So yeah, I'm going to spin you around and show you what I already have and then I'm going to show you what I pick up as well and then share with you the meal plan. So let's get into it. Okay, so you can see at the top there that just the top shelf is mainly just condiments. I've got some pasta sauce to use up and some salad dressing and some squirty cream that we use for our hot chocolates. So that's just nothing exciting really, that's just our condiments up there. Then in the middle, I've still got quite a lot of cheese left, so I'm not going to buy another cheese this week. And we've got some clover that we've just opened, so I don't need any of that. And then I've got some mushrooms. They're looking a little bit worse for wear, but I will just peel those and use those up for something. Got some Diet Coke there, which my husband bought for his rum, so... I imagine that will get used with rum at some point. So we've got that. We've got some Greek yogurts here, which will be for my husband. So we've got five there, so I won't be buying any more yogurts for him, but I may need to get some for Henry. Then we've got a pack and a half of ham left, so I won't be buying any more ham. And then we've also got some bacon. So I'll either use that for a breakfast or I might do kind of a fry up for dinner, breakfast for dinner. So I'll probably use that for a meal as well. And then I've just got some of my birthday chocolates left in there. I know some people will cry at the thought that they are in the fridge, but I will get them out to warm up slightly before we eat them. But in this heat, they end up being too squidgy. So just keeping them in there. And then the fridge and um, the fruit and veg box is looking a little bit sorry for itself, but we've got an onion and a half. We've got some tomatoes there, which I will probably use for lunches. I've still got some salad, so I've got some cucumber. I've got some lettuce, which is looking a bit limp, but I'll just get rid of those bits. And we've got some carrots down there. That one there, I'll probably give that to the hamster in a minute, but they'll be fine when they're peeled. And then fruit wise, we've just got some grapes left and some cherries left. So not a huge amount in there. So I will need some more fruit. And then here we've just got some milk left, some beers and wine. And I do have a caramel left there, which will probably be for the weekend. Maybe we'll have a film or something and we can eat that up. I've got a little bit of orange juice left and then just some garlic and some lemon as well to use up. Now the freezer is looking very full. So I've still got a 50-50 loaf in there. I've got some apple crumbles that I brought reduced from, so if you can hear the crunching, you know that is Duke by now eating behind me. I think I enticed him in when I'm in the kitchen. Um, so I've got some apple crumbles that we will use for Sunday because I've got two packs of those and there's two in each. The boys have got some ice lollies and ice creams in there, so I won't buy any more of those. And then I've still got a flatbread that I can use with some pasta. I've got some pork loin that I've got reduced from the co-op and some steak bake. Got some wraps. I've got some frozen sausages. We're actually going to have some hot dogs tonight, so I will be using a few of those, but there will be some left. Still got some Swede in there, so I'll probably mash that at some point. Got my rest of my fish cakes that I batch cooked, so we can have those. I've got 
some chicken breasts and some pitters there left from a gusto so we'll have that one day got some salmon there's only two bits in there so it might be my husband and i might have salmon and then there's some breaded fish here that the boys can have they do actually prefer breaded cod anyway and then i've got some leftover bread so i've got a white and a brown loaf because people aren't particularly keen on white or brown they're like 50 50 but i don't mind brown so i will probably just pull this out a few slices at a time and the white one we will just use it up at some point is it or just use it for toasties and things got a bagel left and some pitters so i will probably get some pepperoni and make some pitta pizzas one day for dinner and then i've got some home style chips left got some peas some sweet corn some mixed veg some falafels and then some chicken mini, mini fillets there as well so as you can see have an awful lot in the freezer to use up in the cupboard i have just a few bits and bobs so i've got some passata there that can be used for a pasta dish i've got some custard to go with the crumbles i've got honey i've got a few of these um simply cook seasonings so i'll probably use that and uh, i think when i looked at the recipe it says chorizo but i might do mine with bacon or normal sausages and just use them up got gravy got beans and sausages got some normal so beans got some spaghetti hoops some soup some chopped tomatoes and then up there i've got some popcorn got some car caramel wafers some brunch bars got some bits of cat lunch so i won't get any more of them some jammy dodges some digestive bars some animal biscuits we've still got easter chocolate left i mean um these are for henry and his little friend after school so i've got some gummy pizzas and um there's some maltesers and bits so i won't need to get any of the snacky bits and as always you know there is still loads and loads of cereals left we're still working our way through using those up because the boys go through phases where every day they want cereal and can we get this cereal can we get that cereal and then i buy it and nobody wants to eat it so we've still got cereal to use up so i'm not using that and then this bit is a complete mess but it's just all of my herbs and spices and seasonings and then the kind of dessert bits the hot chocolate the baking bits and the ice cream sauces and things so um they are always just kind of in there much fruit over here just a couple of very sorry for themselves bananas and a couple of satsumas so they will be gone probably later today anyway i have some eggs left that will be used for breakfast and then as always i have my jars so i've got plenty of pasta i've got rice and i've got flowers for baking as well so as you can see i have an awful lot of food here so i'm just going to get creative and come up with a meal plan okay so friday night i think i'm going to do salmon and breaded fish for the boys because that's a good friday dinner fishy friday so i'm gonna have that and then i will probably do that maybe with some fried rice maybe and use up some veggies and some eggs and do fried rice the boys i might just do chips or plain rice because henry can't have egg or maybe do dishes up before i put the egg in but yeah we'll have salmon and some fried rice and the boys can have the breaded fish saturday i think i'm going to do um the pork loin and that will be either crispy chili pork because you just need corn flour for that and i've got that in the cupboard or i might do a barbecue pulled pork that i saw on lily ann's channel it looked really tasty and she did it with pork loin so i might pinch that idea and do some barbecue pulled pork sunday will be a roast um but instead of getting the meat i might do chicken breasts wrapped in bacon that will save by meat for sunday so i've used the salmon the breaded cod the pork loins and the chicken breasts and then monday i think we might have the steak bakes
and the boys can maybe have sausages because they're not that keen on pie. There's two in there. So my husband and I can have steak bakes and the boys could have sausages and maybe we'll have that with some kind of potatoes and veg. So we'll tick the sausages and the steak bakes off. I've just written what I've got in the freezer here just to help me. And then Tuesday, we've got the chicken mini fillets and wraps. So I think I'll do some fajitas and that will use up the mini fillets and also the wraps. And then Wednesday, I think I will do some tuna fish cakes with beans. And then Thursday, I'm going to use up the pitters and do pitta pizzas. And some chips with that, because I've got some frozen chips in there as well. And I'll do some salad or some sweet corn or beans, whatever we've got with it. So in order to make all of that, all I really need to get are some potatoes, um, another tin of beans, because I've only got one in there, so I'll get another tin of that. Uh, I'll get some broccoli to go with the ro roast sort of dinner. Um, I've got rice and veg and bits for the fried rice and the breaded fish. I'll have the potatoes and veg. I've got loads of frozen veg to use up. The fish cakes I've got, the beans I've put. Oh, pepperoni for the pita pizzas. Um, and that should be it really for dinner. I've got the salmon and the breaded fish. I've got rice and veg. I've got the pork loins in there. I've got barbecue sauce with my condiments. Um, I've got... The chicken breast and the bacon in there and obviously i'm getting potatoes and broccoli and i've got other veg in the freezer so that will be for that oh yorkshire puddings i need because i use those up so i need some yorkshire puds i've got gravy in there got the steak bakes and sausages and bits got the fajitas i've got some peppers onions mushrooms in there I'll probably chop and freeze those mushrooms because they're not looking the best. So I think in a minute I'm going to just chop those and freeze them and then they will be fine to keep for Tuesday. And then apart from that, I just need to get some crisps for pack lunch and I've got some sweet treats in there for pack lunch. I've got ham, I've got cheese, I've got jam. I've got plenty of bread in the freezer. I've got squash in the cupboard. Um, I think Duke needs some more dental sticks. Oh, he heard me say it. Did you hear me say dental sticks? Did you? So I think that is all I will need. So I'll just double check. And there may be a couple of other bits that I haven't thought of. The only other things I've just thought of actually is I will need to get some more fruit for the week and Archie would like some scotch pancakes and Henry would like some fruit loaf for breakfast because if they're not having cereal they like to have scotch pancakes and fruit loaf so I'll pick those up as well um, but still a very small shopping list so let's see if I can actually just get what's on the list. I'm just back from Asda with our top up shop so I will share with you what I have picked up. The price will be on the screen at the end and then I will share with you the meal plan. So I picked up a bag of baking potatoes. I do have a few small potatoes left in the cupboard which I can use for like some herby potatoes or maybe some wedges. But for jacket potatoes for lunch and for mash, I thought I would get some of these bigger ones to peel. And I think they were only just over a pound dish, I think, or 150 so I got those. I got a broccoli head and then the fruit. I got two loose pears. They were 74p for those two, but we saw them and the boys wanted to try them. But last time we had pears, they weren't keen. So instead of buying a whole bag, 
I just got two loose ones and I will probably just chop it up for them and they can kind of try it and then share them if they like it. So I've got those. I've got a pack of the Just Essentials raspberries because we had those last week and they were fine. And again, the Just Essentials strawberries. They're fine. They're quite small, but the boys have them for breakfast with their um, pancakes and bits. So just got the small ones. Got a bunch of bananas, which were 73p. And then the watermelon was reduced down to 88p. So I don't normally buy pre-prepared fruit, but um, we never get through a whole watermelon. And since they were reduced to 88p, I thought I would get that for a change. And then I've got some of the satsumas. The easy peelers didn't feel like they were very juicy and the clementines and things were rock hard. So I went for satsumas because they feel like they're easy to peel. So I got those. Got Henry some of these Avengers yogurt pouches. You get two strawberry and two raspberry and he really likes those, of course, because they've got Avengers on. I've got a pack of pepperoni for the pita pizzas and also we'll probably use the rest up for pizza toasties. So I got those. Also like a rice, you do like a rice dish with chicken and veg and pepperoni. So I might do that for lunch as well if we've got some extra left. And then the bakery bits, I've got two packs of the golden pancakes for Archie to have for breakfast. He eats three of those in one go, so that will do him for breakfast. So I've got those. I got Henry a fruit loaf because he really enjoys to have fruit loaf with some fruit. So I got that. And then the crisps were on three for three seventy five. So I got some ready salted, some cheese and onion, and some of the Thai sweet chili ones for me to have because these are my favourite. So I got those just for packed lunches and for snacks. And then I got twelve Yorkshire puddings. I normally buy the smart price ones, but they didn't have any, so I just got these normal twelve Yorkshire puddings, and they are a bit of a better size than the cheaper ones. So I've got those and then I got some dental um, dent sticks, dental chews for Duke. They only had medium dog, not small dog, but I'm sure they'll be fine. So I got him those as well. So that's everything I got. I'll pop the price on the screen for you now. So yeah, I think £18 wasn't too bad for that. Let me know what you think because I know I did buy the branded crisps which were a bit more and the pancakes, they only had the branded ones and the yoghurt pouches are obviously more than the um, smart price ones. I don't think that is too bad for my shop this week and obviously we're going to use up everything we have. Okay, so today we are going to have tuna fish cakes and beans. Tomorrow we're going to have the pork loin and we're going to do that barbecue pulled, I think. Friday I've actually swapped the fish for the fr um, pita pizzas because we normally have pizza on a Friday. So I've got pita pizzas on Friday and then move the salmon and fried rice and the breaded cod to Saturday. Sunday will be sort of a roast but chicken wrapped in bacon instead of a roast meat. And then Sunday, Monday, we're going to have steak bakes and sausages. And Tuesday, we're going to have fajitas. So, and I think that's really good considering I needed £18 worth of shopping just to top up. And the rest is just going to be using up what we have. So, I've swapped the video slightly this week because I didn't do a meals of the week because I was away and out and things for my birthday. So today is going to be the grocery haul and then on Sunday I will do a meals of the week from Wednesday to Saturday. So I will show you that on Sunday instead. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and maybe giving you some inspiration to clear out your fridge, freezer and cupboards. If you've enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!